Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. Um, this one is going to be on how to make animated lava. So we'll just get straight into it and we'll get through it pretty quick. Um, so first select our default cube and we're going to delete it. And we're going to press space add mesh plane. And we'll just scale it up a bit and that can be like our lava platform thing. Um, then what you want to do is you want to escape out of that and um, press space add empty then what you want to do is you want to grab the empty and move it over this way a bit it's not, not a good exact science this um, and then press I and press loc then you want to press up a couple times three times until you know you get to another frame obviously 30 frames ahead so that's about a second and then you want to um, grab it and move it across the x-axis or whatever direction you want the lava to move um, however far you want the lava to move in a second so lava moves quite slow so in a second grab x I would expect it to move from where it was which was about there to about somewhere like here and then press I location then what you need to do is split the screen like so split area and go up here and you want to go to the IPO curve editor um, then what you want to do is you want to select the um, the red curve which is the one that should be moving um, if both of them are moving then you have to do it for both of them because if you did it on an angle or something um, then press tab to go into edit mode so you can edit it and then press V so it straightens them and if you did if your other one was curvy as well then press V to that to make it straight then what you need to do is you need to select the curves and down here you select curve and then extent mode and you want to select extrapolation something like that and what that does is it continues the line indefinitely so that means that your um, texture will constantly go around and around and around and around um, yep so once you've done that you can just join those windows back up by right clicking here and go join areas and click back in there then what we need to do is set up our texture so select our plane and then you want to go down here to materials and add a new material then you want to go to texture buttons add a new texture now um because i don't have a pre-made um lava texture i'm gonna make one up so click clouds clouds is good for pretty much everything um and then you want to go colors and color band um, set the alpha up on the bottom one uh, then you want to set this one here to black this one here to uh, yellow and then you want to click add and you want to change that one to red then you want to move the yellow one up to somewhere like here you want to move the red one over this way a little bit and then move the black one all the way up to it and you should get something funny. Um, now these things aren't an exact science, as I said before. So you just gotta play around with it until it looks good. Sort of, probably a bit more red would look nice than that. So I don't want too much yellow. Um. No, it looks pretty good. It looks lavery enough. Um, you can fill around with it more if you want, but I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Alrighty, -oh, so now what we need to do is simply go back into our materials buttons, make sure that texture is selected, go to map input, and you want to select object. Then you want to put in the name of our empty, which is empty. E M P T Y, but you want to do it with a capital E because that's what its name is with a capital E. Um, it'll go all funny down here, but now if we were to just take a quick render, um, 
I'm going to change the settings in here to preview. If you click the preview button, it just makes all the sizes smaller and changes this down to 50% so that it um, it makes it really small and it, it renders much quicker. It's real good for when you're just trying to adjust things. And um, as you can see, that looks uh, like some pretty okay lava. Um, now with lava, you probably want to make it emit because um, that will make it sort of look like it's glowing and stuff and you know lava glows so if you go over here and we have color selected you also want to select n uh, sorry not normal you want to select emit see how it glows down in our preview thing now um, and then just press F12 to render and see what that looks like yeah I think that looks alright and um now if we were to go down here into our scene buttons and then click animate we can watch it as it goes through its steps um, I'll just pause it for the render and uh, so you guys don't have to wait through all that okay cool well, that's done um, so now let's play it through I'm going down here clicking play we have our moving lava Um, yeah, so, um, that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, if you wanted to make this into an actual movie, you would, of course, not, you would change this from JPEG to something like QuickTime, and change this to something like your desktop, maybe. And then, that way, you'll actually get the um the video file instead of thousands of thousands of little images but um so yeah that's it um hope that was helpful for some of you who didn't know about that and um if you have any ideas for my next tutorial then um uh send me a pm or something um if you're watching this on youtube uh rating and commenting and all that kind of stuff is great because then i know what what's good and what's not good and what you guys want to see and what you guys don't want to see and all that kind of stuff so um keep doing that and um yeah look forward to see you guys in my next tutorial